Hi there, folks. I'm Bryce Holdaway. He's Ben Kingsley, and we are the co-hosts of a weekly podcast that brings you the insider's guide to property investing. And today we want to talk about a very, very important subject when it comes to property investing, and it's not bricks and mortar. It's about cash flow management, and more importantly, how you can create a system to manage your money so that you can track more surplus at the end of the month. Yeah, so basically what we've done is built this framework and some rules around how we want you to look after your money. It's almost like flower jar type principles that our grandparents used to use where we allocate certain amounts of money inside our weekly budget and we can control it so we feel in charge of our money. Yeah, that's right, Ben, because it's really easy to spend your money today, isn't it? Because you've got plastic, you can actually pay with your phone now. But back in the old days, you had to hand over the cash before you could get your goods or services. But uh, in a, I guess in a world where plastic is king, is it still possible to do the old flower jar system? It is. Electronically and in the modern age, there is still a way which you can do that. Bryce, did you know that there's 33 billion dollars worth of credit card debt out there. Wow. So why is money smart so important? Why is getting the family budget in order so important? Because we're giving the banks three billion dollars a year in profits on the interest that we're paying on our credit card. So yes, there is a way, Bryce. We can absolutely try to identify living and lifestyle from essential spending and then also provisioning for the future. I think that's a very important point that you raised there, Ben. With that much credit card, it's very obvious that people are now living well beyond their mm. means. 25 years of economic prosperity, mm -hmm. no longer are we in the shadows of a recession or a depression, and people have actually forgotten the harder time. So people are still spending other people's money and wondering why they're not getting ahead. Yeah, and obviously, you know, it's a snowball effect as well. So once you get yourself into that debt, position and you're basically servicing debt with debt, you're on a slippery slope to nowhere. So we think it's absolutely essential that Australians should get money fit and you know money smart around how we're trying to look after them. And so we're giving them some very simple principles to allow them to get organised. Money fit. I like it. That's <laughs> excellent. How do you become money fit? Well, it's actually not that difficult. The systems that you need to employ to, to, to trap the money and make the flow of money in your household uh, fluid and um, plentiful and resourceful is actually quite simple. But the problem is that nobody is doing it. So Ben, let's unpack it a little bit. What does it actually look like? Well, look, f effectively budgets don't work, okay? Because it's just Ooh, numbers call. on a spreadsheet. Budgets don't work. Budgets don't work. They mm. don't work. It's like looking into the rear vision mirror. So what you need to do is forward plan. So you absolutely need to understand where all your money's going. So you should have a look at your transactions, both on your credit card and also just your general living and lifestyle account, which is what your daily transactional account. So your debit card or, or a check, check account, mm -hmm. those types of things is what we're looking at. And then we try to itemize them down into sort of four key areas. Mm -hmm. So a living and lifestyle account, mm -hmm. uh, bills and expenditure, so general spending and the, and the regular bills we have. And then we start to look at provisioning and then what's left over, how we put that money to work. Very good, Ben. So, and part of that is a central theme of having one single, call it an offset account, mm. that actually can optimally use your money for interest rate effectiveness, isn't yeah. it? So you're, you're using the bank's money, whether it's on a credit card to pay for that non-discretionary spending, getting the interest-free period, but you're also making sure that you're allocating the maximum amount of your money against your most expensive debt. And for most people, it's their number one goal, and that's to pay off their home as quickly as possible. Yeah, it is. I mean, if we go back to the old flower jar principles, you know, Pop used to come home and put some money in the mortgage jar, put some money in the food and grocery jar, and then put the savings jar. Mm -hmm. Well, we're doing the same type of principle. So once you do your family budget, you'll actually get a weekly allowance. And that's the money that we're spending on groceries and living and lifestyle. And then we've got the money sitting in the offset account or paying down the mortgage or, or building up savings, whatever your you know, certain particular p circumstances are right now, you can do that and then you're basically trapping that other money. Because what happens is we just put it on the plastic fantastic and then okay. next thing you know... Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Yeah, so what Ben's talking about there is a seven-day float. You pay yourself a seven-day float to get through your discretionary spending so that you don't unconsciously overspend ever mm. again. And then you put the rest of the money to work hard for you in your portfolio. So it's a very, very simple system and very, very effective. Yeah, it is, and we've made it really even more simpler by actually giving you a framework and something to download. So we've got a download on our website at thepropertycouch.com.au where you can download the Money Smart system and all the instructions on how to set it up. Very true, Ben, and importantly for you folks, it's absolutely free. Mm. You can download it straight away and implement the money smarts straight away and watch what impact it does have in your, in your life. So why don't you check it out? 
thepropertycouch.com.au.